Hi, this is Barbara, Executive Director of the Institute of Professional Development with Graceland University. And today I'd like to introduce you to our online educational platform, eCollege. eCollege is very simple to use. You can access it anywhere there's an internet connection, such as a coffee shop, and with any type of internet device, such as a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone. This way it can fit into your busy life and your schedule. Let's get started. It will take you to first to the home page for eCollege. From here, on the left-hand side, you're going to select the tab that says Courses. And anything that you've been registered in will come up at this point. We're going to select Leadership Looking Toward the Future. And once that loads, you will be in the course. And the first thing that it takes you to is the course homepage and it has announcements from the facilitator, anything of importance, and then has just a little introductory um, video. For this course, it's four weeks in duration and each week has a primary subject matter. And those are in the white boxes on this side, on the left. If we access one, the first one, Leadership and Motivation, the first thing is a little Animoto video that gives you a summary of the topics that you will be discussing in the class. There's a week one introduction, and each week has its own introduction that gets you um, ready for the rest of the content. Then it's broken up into sections after that. What we do is we have it into small sections so that you can log on and read as time allows. You don't have to have a long period of time to come on. You can just read this either here on the screen itself, or if you're someone that prefers to print and read from a printed document, you can't print these pages. So from that, to be able to get to those, you go to Doc Sharing on the gray bar at the top. And here you'll see all the PDFs for each of the different weeks. And from this, you can um, select them and then print them off. Each week, in addition to the content, also has discussion questions and activities. The discussion questions directly link to the information that has been provided in the content. And so for here, there are four different discussion questions for week one. The one that is being shown down here is the one that's in black. If you want to move to the next one, you select it. Once it's black and has moved from the blue with the underline, then that is the active discussion that is up. Underneath here, you can see how people have been discussing and going in threads. The nice thing about this is that you can see exactly which thing someone is replying to and what types of discussion is occurring that are pertain directly to that subject. To be able to respond to someone, let's just go here to the main point here in the discussion is you click the respond. And this is just like an email box. You can put your subject matter here. You can um, type your answer. And this can be either something that you type in or something that you um, copy and paste out of Word. Also remember that it has spell check. You can put hyperlinks in there. You can put pictures. And make sure that you always spell check your information. In addition to discussion questions, there are also activities. And activities are things that you take the content through to practice. And they will vary based upon the subject matter of the course. And so here you will be putting this into the Dropbox once it is completed. The Dropbox box is on the gray bar at the top. To submit assignments, you select Submit Assignments right under the text of Dropbox. And you can either type it into the text box or you can select Add and Remove, browse your computer for the content, attach the file, and then save. And then this will be there for the facilitator to be able to read and look at the content. The facilitator and yourself are the only ones that have access to this information. Another type of activity is the journal. And what the journal is, is it's a place where you can confidently um, send information to the facilitator. No one else has access to it. And this is the way you can do different identified tasks. For example, like this one here that start, stop, and continue. Or you can also just log your experiences and the way that you've practically applied the information that you've learned. To get to the journal, you go from the gray bar up here. And again, just like the others, you add an entry. 
something like an email pops up. You can title it. You can type your content in here and you can, or you can copy and paste. You can also put private entries, things that are just for you. No one, if you select private, no one can see it except for yourself whenever you're logged in. The most common one that you're going to use is share with the instructor. So now you have learned all the different parts of the eCollege professional development learning module. And remember that navigating your course is here for you at any time if you need a refresher. Now you have all the tools necessary to participate in your professional development course.